not going to work, that was it. Hey! Hello, good morning. Morning, everyone. Excellent. Hope you're all well. Good. It's about work, the camera's on, isn't it? Yeah, good. good. Well done, Jenny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us again. So I'm Jodie, I'm one of the cardiac nurses in the, the community cardiac rehab team. I'm Matt, I'm the exercise instructor for the same team, which is nice. <laughs> and we're here to do your seated and assisted standing exercises with you today, okay? So as usual, Jodie's gonna do the seated version, I'm gonna do the assisted standing. She's done a lot of work this morning, needs a bit of a relax, a bit of a sit down. Um, apparently I could do more. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the standing version. Um, it's gonna be all together. So we're gonna do a 10 minute warm up. We're gonna do a 10 minute conditioning part in the middle. We're gonna have a 10 minute cool down at the end. Those of you who've done the session before, you know what's gonna happen, all right? Um, those of you within our program, all right, obviously, you know, it's just important to remember just to stay in your own comfortable limits, do what's right for you. We'll give you uh, different variations of each of the exercises as we go through. We're going to do, for the main part in the middle, the um, conditioning part, we're going to do uh, one aerobic or cardiovascular exercise, followed by one active recovery. For the active recovery exercises, okay, you can either use light weights, like dumbbells or so, or if you've not got those, and that's absolutely fine, you, haven't, you can use a bottle of water. So a kilo bottle of water, as modeled by Jody there, is uh, a kilo, uh, a litre bottle is a kilo, I'll get my teeth in a minute, and then a half bottle, um, sort of 500 ml, is going to be about half a kilo, okay? So whatever you feel comfortable with using, we absolutely fine. Or you can use tins of beans, that's not a problem as well. Please, before we start, just make sure you've read the checklist. So those of you that are in our programme, you'll have the checklist within your booklets. And um, it's also beneath the screen in, in the, the description area as well. So please make sure you've read that first before we get going. Um, it's really important. And if you've got any queries or any concerns, then please do by all means ring. Um, we've got a nurse on, on triage. So um, please make sure that you, you give us a, a, a call on the number that you have for us. Um, and we'll be happy to discuss any anything with you. Um, throughout the session as well, we're going to keep referring to the Borg scale. So we've got the giant one behind us um, and you've got the one in your booklets as well. So again, those of you that are in our programme, open your booklet to just beyond halfway um, and you'll see a copy of that Borg scale there. So when we're sort of seated, when we're not doing anything with no exertion at all, as soon as we start doing a bit more, then we go to extremely light. And then it, from there, it's just basically working our way up through the gears and um, aiming to be around that sort of light mark by the end of the, the warm up. And then in the main conditioning phase, we aim to keep ourselves around that sort of light to somewhat hard. So that's where you're feeling a bit warmer, feeling um, like you're doing something, catching your breath a little bit, but feel quite comfortable to carry on. And then for the cool down, we'll start working our way back down those gears again, um, and ready to, to finish. So remember, you can either follow Jody or myself to keep yourself within those comfortable limits between that light and somewhat hard during the session. But if you need to, transfer between the two of us to stay within those limits, and that's absolutely fine. You might find that for the cardiovascular, you can do standing, but you might want to sit down to do the active recovery exercises. Again, just keep yourself in your comfortable limits. Do what is right for you, okay? Absolutely. Make sure you've got some water to hand um, and that the room's nicely vented. You've got enough space around you as well that you're not going to hit any furniture or anything like that, like I normally do. Um, <laughs> and also, um, just make sure you're wearing some good footwear as well. That's really important. So obviously, normally for exercise, we'd recommend rubber-soled shoes, trainers, anything like that. Um, so make sure you're wearing something comfortable, something that the footwear that's fixed, that's nice and safe. Good. Yeah, I think, I think that's everything. I think we're there. We're well ready. Done. Model three, <laughs> Good. All right. So as long as you're ready, we're going to start with that simple, just nice warm up. Remember, take everything lovely and slow to begin with. If you're doing the seated version, just make sure you hit for all fours in the chair. So you come to the front of the chair, sit nice and upright, or stand nice and upright. Okay, and try and maintain that posture. And we're just going to go for a little walk of those feet, or some little toe taps. Entirely up to you. A little walk of those feet. Everything should be lovely and comfortable to begin with. We want to keep it all nice within our normal limits. Remember throughout the session, for those of you that are seated, if you want to relax back at any point, as long as those feet are moving, that's really important. You can relax back just to recover and then hip roll forward back into that working position and just join in with the exercises when you're ready. Good, and we're going to start with some little toe taps out to the side. So leave them out there for a second. Remember, if this is painful in your hips at all, then that's fine. Just go back to your normal walk, or you can do some little toe taps out in front. Should be lovely and slow, though. Use that chair for a bit of support if you need it. I will pop out from the chair every now and again, not to scare you, but just so you can see what my feet are doing. Good, and let's return to that walk again. 
walking those feet or tapping those toes if you're feeling comfortable to do that. And we'll go some little heel digs out in front, little heel digs out in front, so the heels down to the floor and the toes off the floor. Very good. We're going to do four more of those. So four, three, and two, and one. And back to your walk again. Just a little pedal through those feet. And we'll change those into toe taps out in front. So toes down to the floor, heels off the floor this time. It's a little bit of flexion for those ankles, trying to touch those toes onto the floor. Remember, take it at your own comfortable pace. Use that chair for support if you need to. And again, we're going to do four more of those. So, four, a three, a two, and a one. Very good. And back to you all again. Excellent. Just start to bring that pace up a little bit more if you're feeling nice and comfortable. We're a couple of minutes in. Those of you seated, you can go into that just full cut sort of step. So bringing the foot fully off the floor. But again, if you find it's a little bit too much in your thighs, you can just return to those heel raises or those toe tapping on the spot. Very good. We're going to go for some shoulder rolls. So either one shoulder at a time or both shoulders together. We're going to roll the shoulders back. We're going to do four on each side. So either four together or four separately. Try and keep a bit of room through those feet, but if you need to keep them still, then that's fine as well. And we're going to do four more on the other side. Those of you that have finished, just relax there for a moment. Just keep those feet moving. Very good. And relax down. Keep your arms a bit of a shake out. And we're going to bring that pace up just a little bit more. We're going to go back to those toe taps out to the sides, the toe tapping outside. Make those movements a little bit bigger than before. A little bit quicker if you can and you're feeling comfortable to. And again, if you want to reduce that down or do some toe taps out in front, if it's too much for your hips, then do that. And that's absolutely fine as well. You're more than happy. Absolutely. Easily pleased. <laughs> Those of you seated, remember good posture in that working position. So just sucking your tummy muscles in a little bit just to engage those core muscles. Imagine you've got a cord pulling you up from the top of your head. So you stay nice and tall and straight. It's hard work to keep that position, so, you know, <laughs> just keep reminding yourself. Good. And back to your march again. Very good. March a little bit faster if you're feeling comfortable. And we can allow those arms or arms to swing down by your side. If you need to keep one hand in contact with the chair, you just allow one of your arms to swing down by your side. And we're going to start bringing some arm movements in with these exercises, okay? So we're going to go back to our toe taps out in front. But this time you can get your arm to correspond with your leg. Keep them nice and low to begin with. Nice controlled movements. Just increase that intensity slightly. But if you need to leave those arms out, then just leave those arms out. Good. And we'll return back to our march again. Allow the arm to swing down by your side or arms if you're feeling comfortable too. And we'll go some heel digs out in front. So heels down to the floor this time, keeping the toes off the floor, put a little bit of a stretch down the back of the leg. And if you can, bring in a little bicep curl. So again, you can do same arm, same leg. But if you do want to give yourself a little bit more of a challenge, you can do opposite arm, opposite leg. Again, use that chair for support if you need to. Just start to pick up that pace. Just do what's comfortable for you. Very good. Go up to the halfway point in the warm up now. Hopefully, things are starting to just pick up, loosening up those muscles, preparing those joints for the activity. And we're going to do four more three, two, and one. And back to our march again. A little bit quicker than before if you can. Remember, maintain that good posture. Just start to slump just slightly in the chair. <laughs> Tough, isn't it? It is, absolutely. <laughs> and I can find myself sliding back a little bit on this chair, so I have to keep adjusting myself. <laughs> it's got a back and you won't fall off. Again, right? 
Very good. All right, very good. Just, just bring that pace down slightly. Just keep those feet pedaling through so you can keep the toes in contact with the floor and pedal through those heels or just tapping those toes. That's fine. Good. And we're just going to do some mobility. So single arm brush strokes, so one arm and then the other. Good. Just make sure you're abiding by those social distancing. Okay, that's how you keep people away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And we're going to go into that front crawl, okay, to keep the arms nice and low. Just go for a front crawl. Good. And we're going to go into back stroke, leading with the elbow. Keep the arms nice and low again. Make sure those feet are still moving and you're still breathing. Don't hold your breath while doing this. Maintain that good posture. So very easily, please. Now being really demanding. <laughs> very good. And we're going to go back to our walk again. <laughs> Have a swing of the arms, keep those heart rates up. Very good. Bring the feet out to the sides, just keep those toes tapping or those toes wiggling softly. So we're going to do some side bends today, all right? So reach it down to one side, back up to the middle and over to the other. If you're using or you're sitting on the chair, then obviously just grip on with the opposite hand so you're not going to fall off one side, ideally. Just helps to anchor you. It does. <laughs> And also it helps to stop you from flexing forward and back. So you're making sure that you're keeping yourself in that good posture and position. Absolutely. Good. Keep going. We're going to do one more on each side because I've lost count. <laughs> I can't <laughs> help you either. <laughs> True professionals. Back up and back to your walk again. Oh dear. You're in safe hands, everyone. That's all good. Doing well. Excellent. And we're going to have some little heel digs out in front. So heel digs out. Leave them out there for a second before you bring them back in. And as the heel goes out, have a little flex forwards, just put that stretch up the back of the leg, hold it for a second, and then ease back in. So again, use that chair for support if you need to. Get a bit of a stretch down the leg. So remember, we're not holding any of these stretches, you're just telling the muscles we're about to do some work, just preparing them, getting that blood supply to them. So they're really prepared to start doing that exercise. Good, and last ones on each side. Very good. And once you've done this, you can return to your march again. Bring that arm back in. We're going to do a quick rewarm. Then we're going to start the hard work. We've got two minutes before we do that. To start bringing up that intensity a little bit more. Let's go back to those toe taps out to the side. And we can bring that arm up a little bit higher than before, a little bit faster if you're feeling comfortable too. But remember, just slow that pace down if you find your breathing is going up a bit too much. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can try and do that opposite arm, opposite leg, just to give yourself a bit of coordination. It's really important we keep our coordination going. Remember, just do what's right for you. Use that chair for support if you need to. Very good, and back to you much again, much a little bit faster. We're going to do some knee raises, but if you're doing the seated version, you may find it easier to do some heel digs out in front or some toe taps out in front. So those of you standing you're feeling comfortable too, we're going to do some knee raises. So you can either do the knee raises if you're doing seated, or if you need to, obviously, those heel digs out in front if you find it's a little bit too much in your hips. And you can tap onto the opposite knee, opposite hand, opposite knee. Use that chair for support again. Last two, last one, and back to that march again. A nice quick march for me, pedaling through those feet. Hopefully you'll feel your breathing is coming up a little bit more. Catch your breath, moving up towards that light level on there. Got a few more seconds. Good, we're gonna walk the feet out to the side nice and wide, and we're gonna quickly bring those feet back to the middle. So slowly out to the side, and quick step back in. Very good, and again, slowly out. And quick step back in. One more time out to the side and quick step left feet back in. Very good. Back to your march again. Nice quick march. Give those arms a swing if you can. That's the warm up complete. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit warm by now. Well Catching up breath just slightly. We're going to move into the main phase, but do grab yourself a drink before we start doing that. Good. Okay then. So it's going to be the chest side slightly. So we're going to start off with those heel digs out in front again for me. So we're going to heel dig out. 
those of you seated, just remember your posture again, just check that you're in that working position. Um, as we were saying, it's very easy to start slumping and slouching down and things. So just make sure you recheck that posture so you sit nice and tall and straight in that working position. Remember, you can relax back in the chair if you need to and just gently walk those feet, just if you need a little bit of a rest and recovery, and then come back into that working position. You're feeling nice and comfortable though. We can start bringing the arms in. So a bit of an arm curl as the heel goes out. So heel dig, arm curl. And once again, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, we can go for that one, the two, the two on the same side. So one, two, two on the same side. Remember doing it your comfortable pace. Two, two on the same side. Very good. One, two, two on the same side. We've got time for one more. Heel, two, and two on the same side. Very good, and back to your march again. Very good, we're gonna to go to our first active recovery exercise, which is gonna be the upright row. So grab one of your weights, we're gonna hold it with your bottles of water. And we're gonna row up to that mid chest, holding it with both hands and back down again. Good, so if you don't feel stable doing this without holding on, then do the seated version with Jody. And then also you can come back standing again once you've finished doing this exercise. Imagine you're drawing a zip up your front of your coat and then back down again. Very big zip. It is. <laughs> Remember, good upright posture, three seconds up, three seconds back down. Make sure you're maintaining your breathing and a little bit of movement through those feet is always good. Leading with the elbows. A bit like a chicken. <laughs> it's not quite much Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Got that impression coming up later. Very good. Relax there. Pop those weights down to one side. Good. Keep those feet moving. Good. Those of you who need to come standing again, do so. And we're going to do a walk out, out, in, in, forwards, forwards, back, back. Okay. Out, out, in, in, forwards, forwards, back, and back. Very good. Keep going. In, in, forwards, forwards, back, and back. Good. Keep that pattern going. And if you can, you can bring the arms in to correspond with the legs, okay? So, out, out, in, in, forwards, forwards, back, and back. Out, out, in, in, forwards, forwards, back, and back. You can make those steps as big or as small as you want to. And also you can reduce that speed if you need to. If you need the chair for support, you can just do the one hand. But if you're feeling nice and comfortable, you can use both hands. Out, in, in, forwards, forwards, back, and back. Very good. In, forwards, forwards, back, and back. One more. Out, out, in, in, forwards, <laughs> forwards, back, <laughs> and back. Good. And back to your march again. Good. There's a bit of brain activity for you there. It was it's like well. isn't it? <laughs> and we're going to go into our lateral arm raises. So this is going to be your, your Batman impression. So again, if you need to, you can either do the standing version of this with both hands, or if you need to, you can join Jodie for the seated version, or you can actually do one arm at a time, keep one hand on the chair if you need to, you can just alternate between the hands. Remember, three seconds up, three seconds back down. Nice control movement, just trying to get a bit of movement for those feet. Keep your breathing going. Being very demanding still, I know. Good, and we're gonna do a couple more. You'll probably find it really starting to work in those shoulders now, they're small muscles, and you can relax there. Very good, pop those weights down. Back to you, march one more time. This is your halfway point, and we do those marching sprints. So we're gonna march our feet on the count of three, we're gonna sprint those feet. If you want to, you can just march for the entire minute, but if you're feeling comfortable, you want to join us, and that's fine. So one, two, Three, just sprint those feet, and back to your march again. So just moving those feet as quick as you can. Remember not to hold your breath while doing that. Keep breathing nice and comfortably, and we'll go for another one. One, two, three, sprint those feet. Imagine you're running for the bus or, uh, or last back. orders at the bar. <laughs> ah, the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do one more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> With me. Got a One, little bit easier. Two, three, <laughs> off you go. And back to your right again. Very good. All right. We're going to go for the backwards arm press. So, again, grabbing your weights. 
fairly straight arm, all you're going to do is draw your hands behind you and then back down to your side and again up behind and back down to the side. Very good. Again, if you want to, you can hold one hand on the chair. Just do one hand at a time or you're feeling comfortable with both hands. And obviously, if you want to follow journey, you can do the seated version. Three seconds back, three seconds back down. This one's good for your triceps. That's the muscle on the back of the arm, also known as the bingo wings. So it's a good exercise for those. That's all anatomically correct. Absolutely. <laughs> good, nice, slow movements. You feel that tension down the back of the arm now. Couple more repetitions, I reckon. Yeah, we got time. Last one. Good, and relax there for me. Pop those weights down again. And we're going for your faithful half stars to tapping out to the side. Remember, keeping with your comfortable limits, take those feet out to where it's comfortable. If it's too much for your hips, obviously go for those heel digs out front or those toe taps, or just reduce that range of movement down. And if you're feeling nice and comfortable, we can bring those arms in. Just remember to check yourself where you are on that Borg scale. So just making sure that you're in your own comfortable limits at this point. So uh, aiming to be within that light to somewhat hard. So you might be catching your breath, feeling a little bit warmer, but feeling quite comfortable to be able to hold a conversation and feeling quite comfortable to carry on. If you've gone above that level, then you need to reduce your pace down, drop the arms out and reduce the movements down a little bit. And um, if you find it's still very comfortable, feel like you could sing along whilst doing it, then just pick the pace up and follow Matt as he's demonstrating. Do you want to sing? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Let's go back to that march again. Grab your weights. We're on to round eight. We're going to do the bicep curls, all right? So tucking those elbows into your side. If you want to stand and use the chair for support, you can alternate between those arms, bring the hand up towards the shoulder and back down. Try and keep that elbow tucked in. Just so we're isolating that bicep muscle. Keep those feet pedaling away. Upright posture and don't hold your breath while doing it. Or you can follow Jody. Just do both at the same time. Double the work. <laughs> nice and slow, nice and controlled, Ben. Yeah, keep going. Don't forget to have yourself a drink if you need one. Any point that you need to, you obviously you can have a seat. Just relax in the back of the chair. Just keep those feet wiggling until you've recovered and we can continue with the exercise when you feel ready. We've got two more exercises to do after this. Done very well. Absolutely. Five more seconds. We'll get foot. one more repetition in. Excellent. Pop those weights to one side again. Back to your march. We just prepare for the next exercise. We're going to go into the toe tap. So we're going to toe tap out in front. So toes down to the floor, heels off the floor. Use the chair for support if you need to. So you can either bring the hands up, same arm, same leg, or opposite arm, opposite leg, entirely up to you. Or if you want a bit of fun this morning, you can do your taps and claps if you feel able to, okay? So you can tap and clap. And you can take them a little bit higher if you're feeling comfortable. And you can always take them off to one side. Very good. Keep going with those toes out in front. Sounds having too much fun there, but stop. <laughs> and back to your march again. Very good. Last resistance exercise. So grab your weights again. Good. Hold them around chest tight. And all we're going to do is we're going to push out in front and relax to the middle again. So pushing out in front, and relax the middle. Remember keeping those feet moving nice and gently. Again, if you wanna follow Jody, do the seated version of this, then do so. Or you can do one arm at a time, and then alternate. Just do what is comfortable for you. We're halfway through. If you find it's a bit too much, you start to find it in your shoulders and your chest. Obviously, you can just pop those weights to one side. You continue with the movement without the weights, or just march on the spot until we finish doing this exercise, which I've only got a few more seconds of. And then you can join in as we go into the cool down next. Ooh, time flies, doesn't it? Absolutely. Last one. 
Good. And pop those weights to one side. Keep those feet marching. Remember, don't suddenly stop doing that activity. Grab yourself a drink. We'll give you a few seconds to do that. And then we're going to move into the cool down. As we go for the cool down, I'm going to continue standing for the next five minutes. And then we're all going to come to the seated version and make sure you've got a chair nearby. Probably should have told you that at the start. But just grab yourself a chair, all right? Make sure you've got one nearby because we're going to finish off with some seated exercises, some strengthening for those legs, and a little bit of core exercise today. Good. All right. So hopefully you've had your drink now. So we're just going to start slowing that pace down. So remember that ball scale, bringing it back down the gears again. So we're working around that light somewhat hard. We're going to bring it back down to that extreme light over the next few minutes. So start to bring that pace down with your feet. And we're going to go back to the heel digs out in front. But this time we're going to just take all the pace out of them. Leave them out there for a second before you bring them back in. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can't stop me from singing. <laughs> we have tried. Yeah. <laughs> Unsuccessfully. <laughs> Good. We're going to do four more, even slower now, bringing that pace right down. I think we're all missing the, the cardiac rehab music mix. Yes. <laughs> Back to your walk again. What we'll happened in the car? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Toe taps out to the side. Nice and wide to begin with, or wherever it feels comfortable for you. And again, just slowing that pace down. And we're going to give that supporting leg a little bit of a bend. Okay, so just bend that supporting leg. Let's feel a little bit of tension in there. For those of you that are doing the standing version. And again, slowing that pace down even more now. And you just start to make those steps a bit smaller and a bit smaller until you're just doing tiny taps by your side. Excellent. And back to your walk again. Relax those arms down. And we're going to do some toe taps out in front. So toe tapping out in front. Remember, flexing the toes down towards the floor. And again, nice small movements now, slowing that pace down even more. Perfect. And let's go back to that walk. Excellent. So just stand shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart. <laughs> and with our right foot, okay, use the back of chair for support. All right, you're going to tap out in front to the side. If you're seated, you're going to tap back in front again. But if you're standing, you can tap behind and back to the middle. So same with the other foot, so to the front, to the side, backwards if you're standing. Forwards if you're seated. And again, just go back to the other leg. So forwards, side, back if you can, and back to the middle again. Last one. Focus on something in front of you to help with your balance. And back to your walk again. Very good. Have a little pedal through of those feet. Excellent. All right. Just bring the feet down now. So toes in contact with the floor. We're just going to pedal through those heels. A little bit of a pedal. And we're going to roll those shoulders back again. So four for me on both sides, either one at a time or both together. Try and keep that movement through those feet as you go. Good. I'm going to do four on the other side. Joe just have to sit there until I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you're doing well. Thanks. <laughs> and relax down. That'll be a little pedal through those feet again. Good, and slowing everything down again. And let's do some of those teenager shrugs, all right? So again, you can do both arms at the same time or one at a time. And four. And do four on the other side. Two. And three. And four. And back to that four again. Well done, everyone. So good. Excellent. All right. And again, just pedaling through those feet now nice and gently. Grab yourself a little glass of water again because we're just about to go to the, the seat part. And we'll wait that away. Good. Back 
a little bit. All right. So come around to the front of the chair. Make sure your the back seat legs touch your chair. Just ease yourself down into the chair. Oh, it's good to have a sit down. And those of you who are just seated, make sure you hit yourself, hit roll yourself to the front of the chair. Sitting nice and upright, try and maintain this posture. Just keep those feet moving nice and gently. So we're going to do that, that sit to stand, all right? So Joe is going to do the non-standing version of the sit to stand. I'm going to do the standing version or the assisted standing version, hands on the chair. So feet hip width apart. We're going to draw those feet just a little bit underneath us, okay? Just so we've got a good base from which to stand from. We're going to keep our toes tapping in between. I'm going to count to three. I'm going to ask you to sit, sit nice and tall. We're going to count to three. And then you can either do the seated version where you're going to drive your heels into the floor, hold for three seconds and relax. If you count along with Jody, you'll know you're not going to be holding your breath while doing that. Those of you who'd like to follow me, we're going to do the sister stance. We're going to pop our hands on the side of the chair and we're going to shoot up. But remember, for whatever one you're doing, you're going to go straight up towards the ceiling. Okay, so you're not going to flex forwards. It's just pushing your heels down. Imagine you're going to shoot up towards the ceiling, even if you're going to stay seated. Okay, good. So sit, sit nice and tall. One, two, three. Drive those heels down. One, two, three, and relax. Very good. If you stood all right, just stick your bum out, lower yourself gently into the chair, and hip roll to the front again. Very good. So again with us, so sit, sit nice and tall. And one, two. Three, drive those heels down. One, two, three, and relax. Good, stick your bum out, slowly lower yourself in the chair, make sure you come back to that chair before you sit down. Very good, hip roll forwards. We're gonna do four more, okay? So sit, sit nice and tall. And again, one, two, three, drive those heels down. One, two, three, and relax. So coming back to the chair, stick your bum out. If you stood, slowly lower yourself into the chair. Good, hip roll forwards again. We've got three more to go, if my counting is anything to go by, probably not. Good, so sit, sit nice and tall, and one, two, three, drive down. One, two, three, and relax. Good, and relax into the chair, nice and slow, guide yourself down, hip roll forwards in the chest. I hope you can feel these muscles, your quadriceps and your glutes tighten up. So if you're resting your hands on your legs like Jodie is, when you're pushing your heels down, you should feel that really working. Good, so again, sit, sit nice and tall, and one, Two, three, drive those heels down. One, two, three, and relax. Come to the back of the chair again. Stick your bum out, slowly lower yourself down. We've got one more to go, so hip roll to the front of the chair again. Keep those toes tapping for a minute. If you feel like you've had enough, then that's fine. You can just stay seated, all right? And you can either follow Jody, or you can just tap those toes until you're ready to move on to the next exercise. And again, so sit, sit nice and tall. One, two, three, drive those heels down. One, two, three, and relax. And stick your bum out, make sure you come back to that chair, slowly lower yourself into the chair. Very good. All right, keeping those feet moving, well done. So it's really important to keep these quadriceps and your glutes nice and strong, that your powerhouse muscles will come to do things around the house, climbing stairs, getting in and out of the bath, all those bits and pieces, okay? Good, all right, we're going to start doing some stretches then. So keep those toes tapping, we're gonna bring the arms up in front, interlink those fingers, pushing out in front. So a bit of a stretch across the upper back. And then we're going to do some little core exercises as well. Very good. Hold for a couple more seconds and relax down. Roll those shoulders back again. Good. Give those arms a shake out. Very good. Hands towards the back of the chair, gripping the base or the rear of the chair. Pushing that chest out in front. A little bit of tension across there. Should it be painful at all? If it is, then obviously just ease out slightly. Keep within your comfortable range of movement. Remember, keep those toes tapping. A million for time today. You get sick of us, aren't you? Cross those arms a few times in front. <laughs> Maybe not already. <laughs> Good. All right. Well, let's do some of those core exercises. So again, you'll be engaging your core the entire time. All right. So we're just going to challenge it a little bit more. So keep those toes tapping. Sit nice and upright in your chair. Pull your tummy button in towards your spine. Okay, just engaging those core muscles. Hold on to the side of the chair if you need to. We're going to release one hand. I'm just going to reach out in front, just tipping forward slightly, just taking us slightly off balance. And we're going to come back to the middle again. We're going to reach out to the sides, having a little lean that side. Use that hand to support so you don't fall off the side. Very good. Back to the middle again. And then we're going to reach down to the side. All right, so just reaching down. Good, and back to the middle again. Very good, we're gonna switch over, switch hands in the chair. We're gonna reach out in front, just taking us slightly off balance. Back to the middle. We're gonna reach out to the side. 
Hello. <laughs> See, we're two meters. <laughs> down, and then reaching down to the side. Very good, back to the middle. Let's do one more again on each side to keep those toes tapping. Sit nice and upright, engage your core, reach it out in front, so tip forward, split up, stretch in there. Back to the middle, out to the side. Feel that engage down the side here, back to the middle. A little bit more, we're gonna reach down. And then back up, very good. Last one on the other side, so reaching forwards again, tip forwards, back in, out to the side. Very good, back in, and then down. So imagine you're reaching down to grab something off the floor, okay, to get yourself back up. We're gonna use those muscles again. Good, give yourself a shake out. Hands on your legs, all right. And we're gonna just do a little twisty stretch, all right? So you can take one hand across the opposite knee. We're gonna take the other hand towards the back of the chest, ease ourselves around, hold that position for a couple of seconds, back to the middle again. Staying on that same side, we're gonna do three more. Good, return to the middle, okay? Hand across, other hand towards the back of the chair, ease yourself around. Good, and last one on this side. Very good, and back to the middle again. We can do exactly the same on the other side. So other hand goes back, other hand comes across, ease yourself around. All sorts of noises should happen when you do that. Very good. But just me. Okay. <laughs> Falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Good, just twisting around. Imagine having a look behind you. So if you're driving your car, obviously, these are some of the movements that you can use. Have a look behind. Make sure you keep that flexibility so you've got that good field of vision. Give yourself a bit of a shake out. Good, last stretch, we're just gonna do those legs. So heel dip one of your feet out in front. Start with your toes pointing forward, sitting nice and upright in that chair as always. Just ease forward, spin that stretch up the back of the leg. Hold that position for me for now. Keep breathing nice and comfortably as you do this. Very good, a few more seconds. Good, now keep your leg out there. It's gonna come back to a more seated position. We're gonna pull the toes up towards the ceiling. Sit nice and upright in the chair and you should feel that stretch just down in the calf muscle. If you don't, you can just ease forward just a little bit and hopefully it should just engage. Moving further down in the leg with that stretch. And again, just hold that position a few more seconds. Very good, and relax out, have a wiggle of those feet. Switch legs, so he'll dig the other leg out, toes pointing forward, sitting nice and upright in your chair. Pivot forwards from the hips, so don't just slump yourself forwards, keep your head up. Pitching forwards, for that stretching your hamstring down the back of that leg, that rear, rear thigh stretch. Hold that position, keep that breathing going. Do breathe. And again, we're gonna ease back out. Keep that leg out there though. So sit more upright, bring the toes up towards the ceiling. Sit nice and upright, feel that engage in your calf. And if you need to, just have a little flex forward. Remember coming from the hips, not from the back. And just hold that stretch, keep that breathing going, really nice and comfortable. And excellent, very good. Ease out, have a wiggle out of those feet. Give your arms a bit of a shake out. You can ease back into your chair and have a relax there. Grab yourself a drink if you need one. Well done, everyone. That is the seated and the assisted standing exercise session done for today. Well done, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, absolutely. Well done. And um, we'll be back next Tuesday because Friday's VE day, so um, it's bank holiday. Um, so we'll be back with you next Tuesday now, and we'll look forward to seeing you again then. Please, by all means, have a look on the playlist. There's um, other sessions from previous weeks, from the previous live streaming. Um, and then this week also we'll be uploading another um, video that's just a complete circuit as well. So keep an eye on the, on the YouTube channel. Um, and by all means, you know, um, if it fits into your normal uh, daily routines and things. Um, and if you uh, can try and fit another session in before we see you next week. And also there's some little 10 minute bites on there as well, things you can do throughout the day to keep yourself nice and active. There's no excuse really, we've covered you from all bases. <laughs> all right, but yes, keep well, all right, and we'll see you all again soon next Tuesday, all right? Well done, take care. Bye.